It's morning. Pretty odd request. You promised me you'd get her to meet me. That's all I want. You say she's just an illusion, but I don't buy it. Well, she is an illusion. In this realm. But a promise is a promise. I can't stop you from meeting with her. Hmm. Very well. You should know, though, that she is not a resident of this reality. She is an ancient being who enters men's dreams to perform evil. I take no responsibility for what happens if you pursue her. You know what? Enough with the threats. Quit the chit-chat and just call her. She's already here. Take your time. My job here is done. <laughs> Catherine. Hello. Uh, hi. How have you been? Uh, I mean, it's... it's good to see you again. Yeah. I've never been called out like this before. It was really surprising. So, what do you want? You know what I am, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you scared? Well, maybe a little. Hmm... Vincent, listen. I was only helping him out. On a whim. You're the one who wanted me. And you're the one who rejected me. Remember? And now, you ask me to meet you here. What's this about? Well... I wanted to talk. With me? Yeah, of course with you. <laughs> what is it? Look, don't worry about it. I don't care that you dumped me. You... well, no... That's not it. It's not? So... There's something I want... Something I have to tell you. Okay. I'm listening. So, out with it already. I've made up my mind. Your mind? Before, I was worried about my future. I thought my life was being decided for me. But meeting you... I feel like I've overcome that. <laughs> what are you saying? You met me and overcame... what? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Society's all about patience and self-sacrifice, right? I mean, everyone practically kills themselves to stay safely within the herd. Mm -hmm. But I hate that life. Even if it means I'm going astray myself. That's why I was willing to go through all of that nightmare bullshit. I made it out alive. I'm not in the herd anymore. Now that I've met you, I've lost all hesitation that I had. Huh? I'm, I'm totally free now. Together, we can both live our lives to the fullest without chaining each other down. Uh, I see. And so, I've decided, I want to live with you. Uh, live with me? Wait, what are you saying? Living with me means... Oh, I can quit being human, if that's what it takes. <sighs> I've made up my mind. Don't you believe me? Vincent? I want you. <gasps> Will you marry me? Mary? A demon like me? Don't worry, you can pass as a human. Look at me. <laughs> I never noticed it. Uh, <laughs> that's not what I'm worried about. Oh, um, anyways, let's have fun. Like the time we met, huh? Well, I do think you're not a bad male for a human. 
To tell the truth, I actually was a bit into it myself. Yeah, right? But I can't. Well, then what can I do? Tell me why you can't so that I can understand. The compatibility between our bodies? Compatibility? What do you mean? Besides, I think you still just want to live a quiet life. I don't sense that you have a strong enough will to live with me. Ugh. <laughs> Give up. You might not know it, but she is the daughter of a great demon. For her to marry a human would be... Well, <laughs> just act like the sheep you are and return to the herd. And that is for your sake as well. What the hell's that supposed to mean? If we meet again, I'll think about it. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Wait, again? As in, as in when? Hey! Hey, Vince, you all right? W where's Catherine? You saw her, right? Uh, hey, cut it down already. Where'd she go? You were watching, weren't you? Vincent. Uh, hey, Vincent. Uh, maybe you should have a doctor take a look at you. I'm not done talking! I know. Outside. She's outside, right? Y yeah. Um, whatever you say. Vincent! Huh? Vincent! Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ow! Huh? I just got ran over. Someone! Call 911! <laughs>